The Super Studio is a very unique studio for actually many reasons. And uh, probably uh, the first reason why it's unique is because it's a one year intensive you know, research project led by one faculty. You cannot do the research uh, for if it lasts only for the quarter or the only semester. And also you don't have enough resources and, and then uh, you don't have enough sort of a technology uh, available, information available. And all of those need to be uh, more accumulated. And by having much longer duration of the time, my, by having much broader networks and with more resources. And those are uh, available in Super Studio uh, format, but I don't see any Super Studio format or something similar in other schools in the United States. Right now, we have a Professor Tom Main and the Professor Greg Ling to teach next year at Super Studio, plus one more professor from outside. And I really like the idea of having somebody from outside to teach Super Studio and keep rotating the research platform. My notion was instead of students going out looking for work, they should be job creators. That should be taking place within a university as they're investigating problems and as they're um, the research leading the new avenues. And it goes back to the discussion of broadening the field. Because I think what happened in my generation since, let's say, the, the, the early 70s is that the profession has narrowed its interest having to do with the legal profession, let's say, into smaller and smaller territory having to do with design. And I think what, what's happening now um, is it's broadening again. Hitoshi really said, how is education changing? How is the UC system changing? And how do we engage all these transformations? And he had the idea, which I think is a brilliant one, of taking our post-professional MARC II program and rethinking it as a super studio where designers, students, uh, technology faculty, and an additional partner from industry would work together in a comprehensive way for a year to think about big problems. Um, there have been four super studios so far. Um, the partners have been wide ranging, you know, from Toyota to Disney. Um, and each one of those partnerships brings new questions for the students and really teaches them how to engage with a partner at the highest level. The sense that we don't owe them anything is a very powerful thing. In other words, we're not contracting with them to do a certain kind of research that they would directly pay for and apply. This is a research institution, so they're joining us to be able to work on you know, everything from possible forms of practicality and application to blue sky you know, sorts of things. But that's a really important point, is that they're a catalyst rather than a, a kind of governor you know, for the research. Having ex external campus uh, has a really, really symbolic meaning as a, just a statement that we will get out from academic environment into more uh, collaborative environment. We really want to be able to work in a kind of unfettered way. So right now, at this point, you know, prior to maybe the future of being able to um, put the Super Studio Lab you know, into a future you know, school of architecture, we're treating this sort of like a skunk works project. Um, not that we want it to be secret, uh, but at the same time, it really is a, a satellite, you know, beyond the campus. One of the things that's important about Super Studio is we don't know where we're going necessarily when we start. And for me, that means we're really doing R&D. Trying to be provocative to someone who's in a different industry and trying to be anticipating where the field was going. And, and really think where design could plug into that. How does architecture service a particular problem? What is our role in that? And that's the first question we ask. And, um, and as the problems get larger, more interconnected, more intricative, urban, um, it requires a much more complex thinking methodology, et cetera, and that's where the studio starts, that we're, we're looking for that kind of complexity that goes beyond the possibility of a single person they can solve the problem. And that's the first thing that's discussed as the studio starts with this group of people. 
Los Angeles is a unique place right now for architecture and also architectural education because here there's a industry of high technology like aerospace and automobile design and there's a culture of entrepreneurship and uh, more importantly there's a culture here of trying to change the world like LA isn't full of bankers it's full of people in the entertainment and design industry and Northern California is full of people that change the world through technology and that's really what California is about and it's what California architecture at its best is about I think we need to be involved with these people at the front edge of culture and entertainment and that's why I moved to California 15 years ago it's why I'm a faculty member at UCLA it really all those values of innovation culture experience entertainment these are the things I really believe in and love and Super Studio really can't start without starting in that milieu of Southern California it's obviously a big a big world and and we really appreciate uh, especially students, you know, who come a, a great distance. But even if they're coming from, you know, around the corner, we're all part of a kind of a scene um, that's searching for kind of what's going to happen in the future with design, whether it's architecture or architecture beyond architecture. I do believe that the architecture has more possibilities, more than actually people is thinking, and that's where uh, Super Studio will go ahead and they will engage themselves in. That's why future is very important.